is going to attempt to try to take his back here as Starks tries to get up, and he's got it. Ed Herman looking to choke him out and finish this fight. He's got the choke. Looking for the finish. He's got it across the face. Starks trying to survive. He's going to go Gable Grip. Can Starks hold on? He doesn't have it underneath the chin, Mike. He's trying to adjust. He's switching arms. Starks is in all kinds of trouble. Now he's got it. That's it. Ed Herman, the winner by rear naked choke. And this is what started all off this beautiful trip. Slams him down, and now look how quickly he takes the mount here. Just lifts that left leg over the top. And here's when he had the back mount. And the final choke for the tap out. Here we see it one more time. Clifford Starks forced to tap. Big victory for Ed Herman. Very good submissions for this veteran of the U.S. Navy. Oh! oh wins, but he gets rocked early. And oh! again, and it is all over! Ed Herman just like that! It was the uppercut that clipped him. The first one stunned him, the second one dropped him. Boom, 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 and that's it. He pulled the head down and caught him with the uppercut at the same time. And then he caught him again on the way down. And here, Tim's in all kinds of trouble. And Ed just rains punches down on him. And Note now will move out of half guard. Tried to mount for a second. Ed Herman switches to a leg lock. Let's see if he gets it. And he's going after multiple submissions here in the first round. He's, he's very smart here, Ed Herman. He's very seasoned. Notice how he didn't just dive on that, because when you do commit both your arms to a leg, you leave yourself open to get punched. A la Frank Mir, Ian Freeman. He's attacking it now. Inside leg hook, inside heel hook. This is nasty. No, no, that's it. He got it. He got it. He got it. Ed Herman, another spectacular performance. He's got the inside heel hook, which is really nasty. That's the, the most dangerous heel hook. And Kyle tries to roll out of it, but he taps. All kinds of pressure on the knee and the ankle there. Look at that. That's nasty. And Nope tried to step over it and spin, but he, his knee is getting ripped apart yeah. there. You see the look on, on his face. He's in some serious pain. And Ed Herm is not letting that go. He's got it locked up tight. Man, these guys are slugging. This is what we expected. I oh, oh! A knee from Ed Herman! Cummins has wobbled, and now he's down! And That's Herman, it. short fuse, is a winner again as he knocks out Patrick Cummins in the first round. All right, let's take a look here. Oh, yeah, clinched up, just... Oh, just skimmed right off the temple slash right behind the ear, maybe. And that's one of those spots when you get hit there. Yeah, right off the temple slash side of the head, man. And you see Cummins just equilibrium all over the place. Does like a little shuffle and everything. And Ed Herman wasted no time going in and getting that finish. Herman again utilizing the clinch well. Very good point. Oh, he oh, hurt him back. He rocked him there. Clinch with the win. Beautiful. It doesn't get any cleaner than that. I mean, Bosch just immediately goes jelly. His legs give out. Ed Herman jumps on him, and the referee does an excellent job in saving Bosch because he was clearly out of it. I mean, you can see right there, he has no idea what's going on. Ed just rang his bell. One more time. Boom, right there. First ever fight at 205 for Ed Herman, and he wins it by TKO.